Elon Musk opened up about what specific positions were working horribly and what professionals he brought in from Tesla to work on Twitter. Also, Musk revealed specific employees of Twitter he deemed essential to keep them from leaving. In addition, we learned about an internal meeting between Musk and top employees of Twitter and how Musk confidently persuaded them to stay and trust in his plans. Furthermore, Musk specified which employees will be free to work from home in Twitter, and this news was very surprising. Moreover, Musk announced that these were his final layoffs, and now the company wants to hire new employees for specific very interesting work. Musk announced a few very interesting updates on Twitter, and this is very interesting, so let's explain it. Meanwhile, resignations came in from some employees. Twitter later announced via email that office buildings would be closed and employee badge access would be disabled to make way for new policies and practices. This was the start of the new leadership. The CEO told the company's surviving staff to quit or commit to producing a breakthrough Twitter 2.0. Those that are left will be given three months severance money, and this decision is pretty justified, as it's his way of making the company more competitive. What's more, these decisions also presented a chance to further slash expenses and rid the company of people who don't believe in a strong work ethic brought on by Musk's leadership. And let's face it, the man was running two of the most successful businesses before this, so he clearly knows what he's doing. What's more, Musk has brought in some engineers and top managers from his other firms, like Tesla. Of course, for now, many of them are still learning the mechanics of the social networking site. But a few days ago, Elon posted that Twitter is not much faster than before, so seems like the new employees are doing great. Some important teams are also to be made. These include the traffic and front-end teams at Twitter, which direct engineering requests to the appropriate back-end services. And then there's the team that handles Twitter's core system libraries. Also, several members of Twitter's command center team also posted about their leaving. These are a group of engineers who are on call around the clock and operate as a clearinghouse for internal difficulties. What's more, the staff in charge of managing the Twitter API for developers has also been reduced. Elon knows that the best people aren't going, so he's not too worried. As Twitter's new owner, his first goal has to be to dramatically change the company's work culture. This includes working long hours at a high intensity, which is his signature way. He might not be too worried, but that doesn't mean he doesn't care about the success of the company. Musk has become really worried that some employees and their attitudes may now destroy the company. So, according to individuals familiar with the conversation, he met with a small group of top engineers to learn why so many of them wanted to leave. He talked to them about the issues and even pacified many of them. For example, some staff members were confused about whether Musk will still compensate them with stock now that Twitter is a private company. But rest assured, he stated that the best workers will receive stock options, like they do at SpaceX. And some people were even worried that Apple would now remove Twitter from the App Store, and Musk has confirmed that's not going to happen. He actually even got a tour of the Apple GQ and had a discussion with Tim Cook about the two companies. Coming back to the situation at Twitter, a day after hundreds of Twitter employees decided to resign, the new CEO issued an urgent call to the company's employees that anyone who writes software should meet him. What's more, Musk requested software developers to go to San Francisco and see the Twitter office in person in an email. The billionaire added that only those who can't actually travel to the Bay Area or have some sort of family emergency will be able to excuse themselves from attending, which is pretty fair considering that's how every regular old business operates. And that's not all. The engineers are expected to give a bullet point explanation of their coding efforts in the last six months, as well as up to 10 screenshots of the most essential lines of code. And these are pretty important, as Musk explained that the meetings will be brief in order for him to understand the Twitter tech stack and how the company has run before. You can't run a business well if you don't know it inside and out, and that's exactly what Elon plans to do. These firings are most likely the result of Musk's new policy requiring Twitter engineers and other technical personnel to notify him every week about what they've worked on, what they hope to finish, and specific lines of code they wrote. Seems like a fair thing to ask, but apparently not for Twitter employees. Who knows? Twitter recruiters have reportedly hired external engineers to work for the firm under Musk, and the mogul has even hired an actor who deceived the press into believing he'd been fired from Twitter. So, we really doubt some of the news that is coming up on what the kind of CEO he is, because the press is super easy to fool. According to two attendees and a partial tape acquired by The Verge, Musk stated during an all-hands meeting with Twitter workers that the firm has now finished with the layoffs. 
Instead, it's now looking to hire for openings in engineering and sales, and that staff are encouraged to make referrals. While the exact details are not clear right now, they're sure to be in the coming future. So people looking to work under Musk should keep their eyes peeled for the position soon to be posted on the website. Then, it was an all-hands meeting where Musk addressed Twitter employees, since he invited everyone to come on board with his company culture mindset. While taking staff questions from Twitter's San Francisco offices for roughly half an hour, Musk stated that there are no plans to relocate Twitter's headquarters to Texas, as he did with Tesla. But it may make sense to be dual headquartered in California and Texas. And hey, it'll definitely make Elon's life easier too. But these critics aren't the only hurdles right now. Seven Democratic senators demanded that the Federal Trade Commission look into whether the company had breached a customer privacy arrangement with the agency since the world's richest man took charge. And then Bloomberg reported that the company was sued for the layoffs it had to do, citing a class action complaint filed in a San Francisco federal court. So, what's the story behind this allegation? The complaint claims that the company fired employees without providing enough notice, in violation of the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification WARN, Act. This is a federal statute that requires companies to provide employees affected by plant closing and mass layoffs early notice. But here's the thing. Twitter has notified a federal judge in San Francisco that a complaint alleging that the company violated US law by firing thousands of employees without notice is unjustified and has requested that the allegations be handled through arbitration. The court documents represent Twitter's initial response to the prospective class action, which was filed under federal legislation requiring 60 days notice before mass layoffs. The social networking site claimed that it had met its legal obligations by notifying laid-off staff that their last day would be January the 4th, or more than 60 days later. What's more, the company also stands by the fact that the plaintiff's current request to force Twitter to inform laid-off employees about the lawsuit before asking them to sign severance packages had just created confusion and delayed severance payments and requested the court to re Twitter asserted in a second filing that the plaintiffs had reached agreements to settle employment-related issues and sought that the claims be directed to individual arbitration. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.